I'm Leo Wood for Kit Guru. I'm here at Calios in Brussels with Nicolas, who's head of engineering, and he's going to tell us uh, about their passive cooling technology, uh, specifically the difference between uh, a regular heat pipe and the technology that they use here. Yeah, so uh, regular heat pipes are um, everybody knows right now. Uh, it's um, copper tubes in which uh, you have a fluid and you have a vapor and liquid that is mixed together. Mm -hmm. And so what makes the difference with the loop heat pipes, so the technology uh, of Calios, is that uh, vapor and liquid are not mixed. It's a loop. Yes. So you have one side which is totally vapor and one other side which is totally liquid. And that makes the performance because you don't have any uh, mixing between the phase, uh, any loss of power, any loss of uh, what we call uh, en en uh, energy viscosity. Right. Uh, so that makes the system much more performant. Now we've looked around and you'll be seeing various shots of the Calios products as we're talking. Uh, you've slightly uh, taken the rug from under my feet because instead of having a magic black box, you use a magic blue box. <laughs> but apart from that, you've said that were we to cut the thing open and look inside, we wouldn't understand the secrets of what Calios does. You said specifically it's the permeable material and the way you bond that permeable material to the heat sink. And this has taken you how long to develop? Oh, it's a technology that has uh, maybe 40 years right now. So it's mm. a very old technology um, coming from space application, developed now for uh, satellites and uh, other, other things. And Calios has just uh, transferred the technology from uh, space to the ground and uh, now is available for first railway application and, mm. and Which finally data huge, center. Huge, huge, yeah. great thing that goes underneath a train and has the, uh, the airflow from the train's movement to take the heat away yeah. from the heat exchanger to considerably, and that was, I believe, four kilowatts or yep. some such. And, and the, you have even some system that can go up to 200 kilowatts. Good grief. Yeah. Uh, whereas the units for the, the blade servers and such like and, and so on are around the 400 watts kind yep. of territory, although within reason you can make the thing bigger or smaller and handle sure. any TDP that you choose. It's just... How you, how you use your technology. The engineering is done, the, en the assembly is done on site here to preserve your intellectual property. Uh, certain parts are manufactured outside, such as the machine work and so on, but we've, we've seen all sorts of uh, hugely expensive tools here. I mean, you've got an oven for sintering, which I think I heard someone saying is about 500,000 euros. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a coloss and, and that's to make sure the technology is in-house and no one else gets to see what you do. Right now, there is more, uh, more than 12 uh, million of invests uh, in Calios, mm. uh, a lot for the facility, mm. uh, for sure. And uh, yeah, all the know and uh, will be done in Belgium, mm. will stay in Belgium, mm. in Belgium, even if the final assembly uh, will go in China or US. Right. Uh, it's uh, the no we stay in Belgium. And you're obviously expanding fast. You have 28, I believe, members of staff at present. Yep. Uh, you, you obviously have the space for many, many more than that. We're here at Calios and I'm talking to the engineering staff about Kickstarter, which is a, more of a marketing thing, I would have thought. Uh, my fundamental question, why is Calios running a Kickstarter campaign? So we have a pretty exciting innovation to, to show to, to people. Mm -hmm. um, so actually, uh, we developed first a fanless computer. Yep. And um, so there were many videos uh, in press about it. And it was um, like a pretty big uh, computer, like uh, 50 kilograms. Yes, yes, huge. huge. <laughs> yeah, Heavy, huge. Yes, yes. So it was not that much um, uh, user friendly, you know. Uh, actually, we got a lot of demands about this product, which was only a proof of concept. It was just to, to show people that our technology uh, works and works pretty well, uh, since we have really good performances with like zero noise, uh, mm. zero pumps, zero fans. And this is to handle up to 400 watts, I believe, this system. Uh, in total? Yes, in total, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. Which in, the, in realistically is any gaming PC with a single graphics card and single CPU. Yeah. So basically we design our computer to um, dissipate 
all the load um, with uh, CPU and GPU at their maximal power. Mm. But this case like never happens in real life. No, 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 um, when you play a video games, only the graphic card will be at maximal power. But um, yeah, we designed it to evacuate both load. Um, so we tested, we have different uh, softwares like uh, Prime95 uh, yes, yes, Prime Prime yes, Prime yes, yeah, yes, and, yes. and Fermark. Yes. So yeah, basically we, we test all our computers with, with this and uh, we guarantee that it will um, evacuate this load. Mm. Um, it's GPU and CPU. To be honest, evacuate this load sounds a lot better in French than it does in English. <laughs> it's, it's, it makes perfect sense. And so like how, much, how many Kickstarter backers are you looking for? How much money? What do they get? I think the minimum would be 250, right. and more than a thousand would be good. Right, and this is going to be uh, uh, fulfilled by September, uh, yeah. which is so, quite quite remarkable, given that they're going to have to be assembled on the site here in, with this relatively small staff. The campaign is going to be launched in March, and projects delivered in September, right? So um, six months start to finish. Yeah, because uh, like design, as design is not almost finished, but we are on a good way to finish design. Yes, I was going to say because we've seen product here, but that is not necessarily the exact thing that's going to be shipped to the end user. It's close, however. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, actually, we are working with a, a modding company to mm. improve the uh, the appearance of the project, and um, we also want to, like this product to be really easy to, to install. Would you say, and this is a stretch, if you can install an Ace Tech all-in-one liquid cooling system, that you can install the Kickstarter system, or is it more complicated than that? We are, we are doing our best to make it as easy. Right. So it's so our goal. That's the target. So yeah, exactly. So Corsair H100, that type of cooler, we're in that territory. Yeah. I'm Leo Audit for Kick Guru, and that was the Kalios Kickstarter.